Well, hello everyone and welcome to Blender. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make part of my baseball that kindness. Okay, so we're going to get started um, by deleting these because we hate them. Now, you won't have this, but I imported my project, uh, my old stuff. So that way I've got some reference. So I'm going to pull in my image right here, which you would get by going to control A image reference and then just pick your image which I will do right here as well and um, turn tu turn on that so that way it doesn't angle it tor towards your picture hit decimal to zoom in R to rotate X to scale on the uh, uh, X axis and 90 so that way it's at a 90 degree angle, but we're not gonna use this one just yet. So here's a bat, um, G, and then whatever axis you will want. Z is up and down, X side to side, and Y back and forth. I'm not a pro, um, so I would say watch the Blender Guru tutorial because that's how I started. Um, and then watch things that's like relevant to what you're going to do. Gonna do control A and we're gonna start with a cylinder. Come over here to this tab. Don't need it to be this, uh, have this many sides, so it's on 32, so maybe we'll do like 36 to see. That's probably okay, but we'll do like 34. That's fine. Let's make things a little easier. And one is to go straight on, three is to the side. Control one is behind, and control three is to go to the left side over here. So it's just a whole lot easier to push the buttons. So this is the same picture that I used in my baseball bat time lapse. So gonna do S to scale, or you could do um, to scale on X, Y, or Z, which will make it shorter. But to scale everything, just S. So, gonna look at the picture, gonna scale it down till it's about right. Whoops. G, X to move. All right, and then we're gonna take this top face. I'm gonna do um, push three, and then also I should, should I should have said that. It was one on your number pad to do these, and then it's one on the top of your keys to do um, vertices, uh, edges is two, and three re is faces. So I'm gonna do that. Alternatively, you could just con uh, click and drag and select all of these. And then I'm gonna just hit con uh, hit G and Z and go all the way up till about right before it starts to get um, more rounded. Your image doesn't need to be perfectly lined up, but you could also just open up that because baseball bats do tend to. Um, get smaller as they go down you can also hit alt and then click that and it will select the whole line um that you click so we're gonna do that mix it up 
you don't need to rem me me remember all of this, but it's just good if you 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 can start memorizing the key binds because they're tremendously important. Okay, and then we're gonna do Control Z all the way down to the very bottom. I'm gonna hit this so that way we can see through X-ray vision, and this is wireframe so it makes it easier to see i never really use it because i can just see behind this is um viewport shading so when, when whenever you've got, got got a texture it'll actually show up um i imported that because i don't make my own textures i don't know anything about nodes i think i do and then i'm completely lost so Gonna shade smooth with right click and uh, click shade smooth. So then we're gonna hit Control R, um, which will make a cut. We're not gonna, gonna estimate. It's not tremendously important off the bat, but um, I'm just gonna say like this many, and then click. And then you can drag them, it's hard to see, but you can tell them where to go. I'm fine, so I'll just hit right click. I will hit uh, alt click on this line. Hit G two times to bring it down, or if it's straight, then j just G and then Z. But keep everything perfect, double G. Gonna do about right there, and then gonna do double G down to maybe right here. Kind of seeing where things are a little different. So then hit Alt click again, do S to scale, and that looks right. I wanna make sure everything else is following. I'm gonna just turn that down in just a touch. Do the same with this one. And then do the same with this one. And then make sure and just see if like things are different. Just control. Um, or again, add another one and then zoom it in. And then we could even use one, one more. I, yeah. Keep the nice shape of the baseball bat. And then here, we'll do the same. Oops. I hit S two times. Go about like that. Then we'll get a torus. Shift A. There we go. And get a torus, which is basically like a donut. Um, which, if you do the donut tutor tutor tutorial, then you'll find that out. This is fine as it is. So just shade smooth. And then scale it. Then I will hit SZ, make it bigger, back there so I can see. And I'm going to select the, these two. You, you, you do m multiple by shift alt click. So it, you're telling it that you want to keep selecting. So then you can just scale that, that in. Let's scale that in. This one's kind of wonky. I'm following over here, so it d doesn't need to be like per per perfect over here too. But And I'd also just go ahead and move that in because it's going to start clipping. Make sure that looks good. It's not too bad. It's kind of weird, weird up here. There we go. Scale, scale, scale it in and then up. That's good enough for now. It's a bit rough. 
Okay, well, you will want to take more care with this than I am, but for tutorial's sake, I'm just going to do the basics. So you want to do a cut here and then double G and bring it all the way down, which will make this part flat. And then I also want to bring that up into the torus just a bit. So we got the basic baseball bat part. This doesn't look amazing, but like I said, for tutorial's sake. Okay, then I want to do the same thing where I select like this. I'm going to hit E to extrude, because if you see it, if I just pull it, it'll, I mean, you can do that, that and then do a cut, but it just adds so much extra stu stuff. Pull that up to the top. Then you wanna do a couple cuts here and then hit each one and scale it in gonna look pretty weird at first but when you just keep following the lines then it'll work out there we go it's the top of a baseball bat so that's how you basically do a baseball bat 